Welcome back to SV Ramalone. In our last video, we installed the alternator. I had to do some welding and modifications to the alternator bracket. Uh, I had to modify the lower pulley. Got everything installed and it all works good. Now I gotta hook all the wires up and install the external voltage regulator. So I got a Balmar MC614 smart charge controller. I've already programmed it to fit the profile for our lithium battery bank. That charge profile is pretty specific. It has some pre-programmed profiles for charging lead acid, gel, AGM, the spiral wound Optima type batteries. Uh, this thing is actually pretty cool. I'm not going to go into too much detail on the actual programming. I'll link it down below in the description. Yeah, marinehowto.com. RC Collins uh, has a great write-up and several YouTube videos on going through the whole programming sequence. Now we're going to go through, I'll show you the menu and when I plug it in, how it actually fires up and what it does. So for programming this thing, it's highly recommended you do it off boat or at least with a separate battery in a comfortable location uh, so that you can go through the menu items and you won't be standing on your head upside down in whatever location you put it in. Where I'm sticking this thing is down near the battery bank away from the engine room, away from the heat of the engine and the alternator and all that stuff. What I got is this little I got this little seven and a half amp hour uh, little lead acid battery and made up a harness with ignition, battery, a voltage sensor and those are all fused plus the negative. They go to this thing and when I plug in the ignition fuse which simulates putting the key in the ignition and turning it in the on position this thing starts up. It goes through 614 that's the that's the model number LFP is lithium phosphate B4 is the belt manager BV battery voltage I got 12.8 volts in this thing CV calculated voltage that has to scroll through a couple of times to get to the actual calculated voltage that I programmed battery one not connected alternator temperature sensor not connected yet battery two not connected because that's the secondary battery like your starting battery so it scrolls through the menu and it gives you this basic information and the belt manager is an interesting one and that's in your basic programming and what the belt manager does is it reduces the field voltage uh, according to the temperature of the alternator if the alternator gets too hot it reduces the field voltage to a certain percentage I've got this thing set up to four, which is roughly a 20% field reduction uh, on the alternator. So there we go. You just saw 14.3. That's actually the amount of volts I'm going to be inputting from the alternator into the voltage regulator and into the battery bank. So as you go through this thing, you've got this little magnetic screwdriver from Balmar, and there's a red dot on the voltage regulator. If you touch it, that little red dot comes on up above, and then it goes into Pro. And then you can program your battery type. You can program belt management, B-E-L. Display, that's your short or long display, and that tells you everything that's going on as this thing is running. BDL is, there's an alternator failure advisory mode. And then you just saw the three dashes. The three dashes, allow you to get into the advanced programming mode. What I did when I programmed it was make a note and all the parameters along with all their specific settings, all those little things, you can program the charge time, how long it spins in each mode as the engine is running and how many hours from bulk mode to absorption mode to float mode so we're at 14.3 and that fits within the parameters of our battleborn lithium batteries so in this mode ap3 ap4 ap5 and then you release now you're in advanced program mode and then it'll go ap program advanced pra dlc is 
the start delay. Start delay allows you to not have the alternator put in field voltage until the engine gets running, oil gets circulating through the engine, it puts on a soft, it's a soft start for the uh, alternator. It doesn't put a heavy load on the engine until after you set that time limit. So based on the settings that I've set, and you gotta go through it, you just gotta take the time and go through it. So there's, there's all kinds of stuff to program. And the 10 amp fuse to the battery. Got everything wired up and put in its harness. Alternator, uh, tack feed, uh, voltage sense, positive negative to the alternator temperature sensor, and the main harness that plugs in that goes to all the other stuff. This is the battery negative. All right, there's the negative feed. I need to bring this up, and this goes to the positive feed of the battery. Okay, just finishing up a couple of wires here. This one is the ignition wire, it's brown, goes to the harness. I extended the blue and the white and the red to the, to the uh, alternator. All right, the last wire to hook up is the ignition switch, the ignition wire that feeds power to the voltage regulator. So that goes right about there, cut it off. All right, all the AC loads are off and the inverter is turned off. And just running the inverter with no real substantial AC loads on it, it was pulling nine amps out of the DC side of the battery bank. So it takes nine DC amps just to run the inverter without any AC load on it. So I got all the, I got the shore power disconnected. The AC main is basically off. And it's reading 1311, 1314, something like that. So I'm going to try and start the engine again, see what happens. Uh, the soft start doesn't start for uh, 10 seconds to get lucky oil circulate. So we're, we're idling right around 750 right now. So it's putting DC volts into the battery bank. It's got it up to 13.43. So I guess the alternator's working, it's just not working with this multimeter that's built into the panel. It works with the BMV 700, 13.45 and rising. Still calling out minus 1.14 amps, but it's raising the volts. It's not showing an inflow like it does when the inverter charger is on. So now at idle, right around 750, 750, 800, the battery voltage is dropping again. So at 1,000 RPMs, the alternator cuts in, give it putting out about 40 amps. At 1,500 RPMs, the alternator is spinning at 3,300 RPMs, and it's putting out 100 amps. So at 2,200 RPMs cruising speed, we should have no problem putting amps back into our battery bank with this new alternator. Thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and feel free to leave us a comment down below.